Hi, this is Mark Forshaw from Georgetown County School District. And recently we've had a lot of teachers uh, use and experience breakout rooms using Zoom. Um, Zoom is a, a great, has a great added feature within Zoom um, to where you can actually, as the host, assign breakout rooms from inside of Zoom. Um, <clears throat> the great part about it is, is that it's really easy as the teacher or the host to go ahead and assign those. You can randomize them, um, you can assign them, and you can even upload like a CSV file uh, to go ahead and, and have your groups assigned based on what you want within that meeting. So it's a really easy feature within of using Zoom. Um, however, there's, there's one issue that I have with it, and the fact is, is that in those breakout sessions, the host or the teacher cannot record the meetings in those breakout rooms. They actually have to ask the student or I guess a participant inside those breakout rooms to go ahead and be the one responsible for recording the meeting inside those rooms. Um, why is this important? Just basically for accountability purposes in case something does happen in those rooms, um, you know, to where disciplinary action needs to happen. You'd be able to go back through, look at the recording and then say it happened there. However, um, again, all of the features in Zoom make it really easy. Um, and the only thing I don't like is depending on someone else to have to record that meeting. So Google Meet is kind of uh, a little bit of the opposite. You will be able to record the meetings as a teacher automatically, um, but there's gonna be a little bit of an additional setup. You cannot just assign breakout rooms inside of Google Meet yet as of a push of a button. However, I'm gonna show you, it takes maybe five minutes to set up and you can essentially then have breakout rooms as a teacher um, that you can assign through Google Classroom for your class. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is um, and, and basically <clears throat> everything you need to do to accomplish this. So first of all, what you're gonna need, and I'll explain this in a little bit, is you're gonna need an extension. Um, that will allow you to mute tabs. You can just Google mute tab um, extension and you'll find plenty of them. I use this one right here, um, mute tab. It's pretty easy to use. You can, again, I'm sure there's better ones out there that you can find, um, but you're gonna need that extension and I'll explain that in a little bit. Um, you're also gonna need your Google Classroom and you're gonna need this meet link right here where it says um, the meet link and then it has the lookup and the code. You're going to copy this because this is, again, the, the Google Meet link for your Google Classroom. So I'm going to copy this as a teacher. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open a Google Doc. <clears throat> and I've, I've got this one filled out. So you'll see I went ahead um, and I've got breakout room one, breakout room two, breakout room three. Um, and I, I left those because that's what's going to be the name of these rooms. And then what I did was I came here and I copied this Google Meet lookup code. I copied that and I pasted it right here. What I did is you'll notice what's missing is after lookup this space right here, I have this code, this B4ZMO4 whatever. Um, I went ahead and just deleted that. So now mine reads HTTPS meet.google.com forward slash lookup. Then what I did is I gave my rooms each a name and I've got three down here. I'm gonna add one more breakout room for my classroom. So I'm just gonna type in breakout room four and I'm gonna come down here. This is how I created my codes. So I came down here and I just did for Shets four is what I'm gonna name this one. And I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it here. And now, I'm going to go ahead and I have my Google Meet code. It's right there. Um, these are, again, going to be unique codes for me. So now what I'm going to do is I can go ahead and I can copy this link. This is going to be breakout room number one. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to link this and paste that in and hit apply. I'm going to do the same thing for number two here. Just copy this and then I'm going to paste that in. Oops. 
going to paste that in, link it. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to copy this link, come up here, link this. And essentially what I'm doing is just kind of neatening this up a little bit. Do I have to do this? No. Um, it takes a second. And so I'm just going to go ahead and paste these in. and then hit apply. Okay, so you can see now I have all four of my rooms that are linked. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this stuff because it does not matter. Um, and I now have <clears throat> live links to each of those breakout rooms. So this I could go ahead and assign to my class, this breakout rooms um, doc. And the way that I could do that is I could come in here and I could say, um, here are today's breakout rooms. I could even list the student names if I wanted to in each of the breakout rooms. Um, I can add it. I'm going to go to Google Drive and you see it'll come up in recent. So I'll just click on it. And then I can go ahead and I can post this to all my students. So that way they have access to those breakout rooms. Now what I need to do as the teacher is I need to go ahead and I need to open each one of these meets and join them. And uh, there's one. And you'll notice when I do this, um, when I name them for Shet Breakout 1 or for Shet 2, you'll notice when I join them, I can actually see the name of these right now. And that's the name of the room. So those unique codes that I put in, um, again, those are going to show up. So I'm just going to open each breakout room. We're going to assume that I assigned them to my class and I just posted it there. So <clears throat> once I'm in, now I'll be able to see as my students come in, um, I will be able to go ahead and let me just join each of these. And now I'm inside each one of these meetings. So What's going to happen is, is now as a teacher, not only can I see and join in each one of these, but I also want to go ahead and the mute tab is going to be important because if I'm in on each one of these and I'm talking to the other, I don't want them to pick up my voice and I don't want to pick up this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit mute and I can mute this. And again, I'm just going to come into each one of these and I would mute them as the teacher. So again, um, oops, come to this one and I'll mute this one. And here we go. So I've muted each of the tabs up here. I've also muted my microphone, um, in each one of these, as you can see as well. So that way, when I go into the meetings and I join in these, these groups to see where my students are, um, I can go ahead then and I can unmute myself and I can unmute this tab by clicking on it so I can hear their dialogue and hear their conversation as well as contribute um, myself to these groups. Now, the, the benefit of this, remember I said before in Zoom, you would have to go ahead and ask a student or a participant in the room to record the session. As the teacher now in this, I just come right down to here and I click on record meeting and I hit accept and I do the same thing for each one of these. And, and I, because I'm not in these, I'm not going to worry about unmuting them. Um, but again, I'm going to come into each one of these sessions. I'm going to click on these and you're going to see I'm just going to record the meeting and record the meeting. And now I'm gonna have a record of what happened in this meeting. Once it's done, once I hit stop, it's automatically gonna be sent to my email. And so now I have a recording of everything that went on in, in those meetings. Um, so that way I can go back if, if there is a question that a student has, they could say, hey, it came up at this point. Um, you know, or again, if I had to review it for um, even further issues, I could go back and I could see, and I would have a video record of everything that happened inside that Google Meet. So then all of a sudden, um, again, we do have some accountability in there. So it is a little bit of an extra step, um, but again, once I have it set up and I assign it, it takes maybe five minutes um, to set it up. It's really simple. 
and you can push it out. And again, it allows you to have breakout rooms. Um, so again, Zoom, great feature in it. Google Meet, it can be done as well. It just takes a little bit of setup, but remember you get that video feedback. So I hope this helps. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and contact me.